this uh, destruction and stem cell reconstruction and recombinant technology is used to widen the alveolar crest, lengthen the mandible, advance the maxilla, widen the palate. All these are used in orthodontics, implantology, prosthodontics, orthognathic and reconstructive surgery. We come across in the dental practice wide variety of cases like this where we have to resect and reconstruct. These are the different type of uh, congenital deformities. In 1992 used in mandible. So you do the surgery, give a latency period of 5 to 7 days. After the 7th day, seventh day we start distracting the bone. So I won't go too much into the theory part of it. If you make a cut on one bone and distract this, monofocal, cut it on one side and talk it to the other bone, it is bifocal, cut the bone on either side and talk it in the middle, it is trifocal. So we have different asymmetries because of shortening of the bone in the maxilla, mandible or orbit. So how we correct it? How do we, we are all dentists and maybe some orthodontists here, where is the midline? Am I sure that my face is symmetrical? Correct this mind. Another case where this is squamous cell carcinoma, where the part of the mandible is excised. Problem is, this guy, after that moving it, you will find new bone formation. That's the situation now. Another child from Singapore. This time we had many consultations here. Bilateral GM joint ankylosis. This patient, uh, patient is not discharged here. The child is in my hospital. You can see that with the right tube feeding and the tracheostomy tube. We consulted many surgeons here because of the complete closure of the mouth, they refused to operate. So actually, you would have seen all the patients, most of them are not Indians. So now this is a craniofacial discharge. This boy is from Iraq, from Baghdad. It's a cruise. That is the result. You can see the occlusion. And he has a ptosis, so he needed a mild correction. That's the father. Father is also a general surgeon. They are all from Iraq. And every day he sends his picture in WhatsApp to his sister. The day she is bitten away, live wire, with a small, you know, serial light. So what happened? Because of the light, electric burns. Now this is the situation. So she was referred from Seychelles to reconstruct the part of the nose. This is the first step surgery. So from this situation to here, and that's with the with the parents. These kind of cases where half of the face is missing, but how you reconstruct it? The so first is then used. I have created a zygoma and used BMP and closed it. And you can see there, this is the result. From this situation, this is a juvenile ossifying fibroma. So it's wrapped with the, the BMP, the collagen soaked in BMP. That's uh, how he looks now. You can see the new mandible. But now, Look at that, look at that team. Look at him, he is very happy now. He's a big boy now, four and a half, five years old. He is the mother and the... So, thank you very much. So, thank you. A dental surgeon with the appropriate qualification can do for humanity. <coughs> and there, and uh, Professor Balaji has been with me in the Philippines where he offered his services uh, to the poor and those who are afflicted with uh, cleft flip and palace, those cases we have seen here, some of the cases, uh, where he, gave, he offered his free service. Yeah. And, uh, I think that there's an element of humanity in all of us, compassion that, that requires to, for you to go into these sort of areas. Uh, one can turn around and say that you go into implant dentistry, 
and make all the money you want. But when you go into these sort of areas where it is a frontiers of dental development, there's a, there's a, the element of compassion is there. And what he has done is second to none. In, I've heard lectures and presentation in all over the world, in several countries, and uh, they are equally impressive. But I must say that what Dr. Balaji has done is something that we can all be proud of because it is, an, uh, it is combined with compassion and uh, skill and, uh, and the education value. Because I know, as for me here, it's just the academic exercise for me to, to see all this because I, I won't be able to do it. It's way beyond me and several of us here. Probably the younger ones will be inspired to do what he is doing now. And uh, I think he's in the forefront in stem cell technology and development because there's so much of defects in anomalies where, uh, uh, where a child is being born with or due to cancer and other tumors or accidents that would require uh, treatment. And the face itself is a very complex area. Unlike most other parts of the body that, uh, that, uh, that is, should I say, not as complex. In the face you've got, take the skin itself. You can't take skin from somewhere in the body and put there because the skin or the face is definitely different from any other part of the body. You've got to grow skins and all which is shown and, and replace that. You take skin from the thigh or anywhere else and put it there, you can see that it's different. So, and of course again, bone structure and, uh, and uh, tissue structure and development is totally different, this the face. And as a maxillofacial surgeon, he is outstanding. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Balaji, for, for uh, giving us this very uh, informative lecture. And, uh, and I'll ask the president to give him a and anyway, once again, thank you very much for your, your splendid lecture. It will be recorded into the, uh, into the International College of Continental Education, the part, the educational arm of the, uh, of the uh, Asia Pacific Dental Federation itself. I shall now ask the president of the college to present you with a token of appreciation uh, to indicate that you are